So today, uh, the cool thing that I learned was about um, planes of the face and skulls, according to this guy named Hogarth. I had this book hanging out around for a long time, uh, Dynamic Figure Drawing, and I sort of am guilty of having educational materials around but not using them, and I don't want to do that. Uh, so. I opened up the book, I began to read it, and I decided to do uh, some... Let's show you. You can see it, kind of. What are the cool things that I learned from this little experiment that I did? Yeah, so I guess... Um, this guy's deal is sort of like constructive anatomy, as you see here. Right? So his whole, his whole deal appears to be just like uh, cylinders and spheres and wedges. That's what he says. And so my task here is to combine the cylinders and spheres and wedges in a constructive manner that allows the figure to have depth. And his whole deal is about um, how it's important that artists have the ability to draw uh, foreshortening, and when I draw, I don't always, you know, like this thing where my arm is forward, and this is uh, a challenge. And it's this guy's idea is like, it would be cool to do that from imagination. So that's what I want to do. Um, it's a huge book. I could be doing this for probably like the better part of a few months, honestly. But I'm just gonna try to wake up in the morning and do just, you know, a study. Uh, I define this as a study. Uh, and that's not bad, you know? Like, uh, just copy a page of illustrations and do some reading, and then share it uh, by uploading it onto YouTube. And um, I think I'm gonna include uh, like a, some sort of Discord server, because maybe there are other people who are trying to learn how to be better artists, and they want to, uh, you know, sort of be my friend. That'd be cool. That's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, have an excellent day. Uh, cheers. Subscribe and like if you would like to be my study partner.